Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Spade, and we are back on Pokemon Showdown. Today I got this team from Inhaled Corn. That sounds like something nasty, like if you would inhale corn, that would kind of end up badly. I had some popcorn stuck in my throat sometime, and then I have to like scrap it out, and it was really awkward, but I think this, if you would just inhale like pure corn, I think that would be worse. But this guy, he is... The Inhaled Corn. And he's got a really interesting team. Like, he's got some gimmicks here. And that's why I wanted to try it out today. Uh, we're starting with this Decidueye. Looks like a completely ridiculous set. But I can see it working. I'm not sure about the coverage. But, I, you know, I can understand that the Sucker Punch for priority. Maybe I would run Leaf Blade. But, how, but the idea, like... What I want to do here today, I want to trap and kill, not knock out. I want to trap and kill a Toxapex. I think at this stage of the metagame, we all hate Toxapex. So maybe with this set, we can get rid of it. We can get rid of the Toxapex and just humiliate it. Because we have Spirit Shackle that basically locks in the opponent so that they cannot switch out. And then we can just set up with Sword Stance, and we have Rest. So even if the Toxapex goes for, like, Toxic, we can get rid of it. And set up, and go for the Spirit Shackle at plus six, and destroy it. I'm just waiting for that moment. And then we got Tapu Koko with Choice Specs. And this guy actually has uh, HP Ground. Like, one, on one of the last lives I was talking about, like, uh, Tapu Koko is, like, getting walled by Marowak, and maybe they should run, like, uh, HP Ground, but... I haven't seen them, but what do you know? We got HP ground, so Specs, Tapu Koko, Life Orb, Greninja with U-Turn. You know, it gets recoil, but there's momentum, so... But Greninja is so frail, so maybe I would pick another coverage for... Coverage move over, like, U-Turn, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Ashes Greninja with Battle Bond. And this is, this is another really interesting Pokemon. Type Null with Eviolite. And something I didn't even realize is it basically has the same stats as Silvalli with the exception of its speed. So this is kind of cool. And uh, it's more of an offensive spread. This is actually, hmm. Yeah, well, it does have offensive moves, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, and it's brave na nature because it has kind of low speed to begin with. Uh, HP fire for steel types like Scissor. Uh, really interesting set. Um, we'll see how that works out. Uh, definitely excited to run it. I I don't think I've ever seen anyone really use Type Null. Then again, I haven't been... I've been playing some, but... Yeah, I haven't run into Type Null yet myself in the OU. So, this is interesting. And then we got a defensive core of uh, Ferrothorn and Mantine. Mantine got a boost in this generation in its HP, and it also has Roost. So, that's cool. Uh, let's go battle right now. This, this team is just... Uh, it has some gimmicks, but... I, oh, I so want to trap and kill you! I want to kill you! I want to kill you, Toxifex! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! And this is a video game again, so I'm getting really excited. This is just a video game, though. Don't kill anything. Don't kill Pokemon. Even in Pokemon Go, don't kill them. Um, Leads. Okay, that was a great match. I totally predicted him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that was a great move on my part. Uh, anyways. Uh, ah, there's no Toxapex. But I can get a Silvalli versus, uh, Type Null matchup, maybe. Hmm? I wanna go with this Tapu Koko. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! HP ground! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! And it's a two-hit KO with the choice specs. And now I can switch up moves. And, uh... Hmm. Well, I'm still... Uh, I kind of want to go for the wall switch. Predicting the flip fable. But at the same time... <sighs> He's gonna switch out. He's gonna switch out. He goes into the Komala, the Koala Bear. Yeah! Got my prediction pants! Ooh, maybe I could trap the Celesteela. 
Uh... Or maybe I should just set up my hazards. We are early on in this game, and I do want to rocks for the Marowak, because it can still kind of come in on the... On the, uh, whatchamacallit, Tapu Koko. So, after... Okay, my, uh, I guess he could go into... Yeah, he could go into Marowak directly. Um... But I do have Mantine. Let's see how well I can take hits. I mean, Shadow Bone, it will hurt. But with max HP, max defense, the added HP that we got. Oh my goodness. Ugh, ugh. That wasn't even a stab move. Well, it was fun. Well, I should be able to outspeed, right? Right? So I'll just uh, go for the Scald. I do want to play it safe. Just force him out. I'll recover if I can. Alright, he goes into Komala. Mm hmm. And that did like diddly. He's got leftovers. I'm gonna roost and see what's up. Oh, he's got a wish. Uh, you're not passing that to Marowak. So, I'm gonna just do that. Oh, he's got spin. He's got spin. Well. Oh wait, I, I, this, this isn't going to work out, is it? I thought like I'll go, I'll go into the situ, I'll trap this thing. Oh wait, it's, it's a normal type. That's not gonna work out. Now is it? Well, let's see. He's probably gonna go into like Greninja. The dark type moves. But if he, I kind of wish he would go into Clefable. But he goes into Greninja. Um. Hmm. Mmm, I'll... Go into Ferraton? Well, that works out great. And he's Life Orb, too. So, Rocky Helmet, oh my goodness. Oh wait, he wasn't... It was just, it was just me, Life Orb. Me, Life Orb. It was me with the Rocky Helmet. It was my Ferraton with the Rocky Helmet. Uh, plus the uh, Iron Barbs. No Life Orb there. I just didn't know that this guy had Rocky Helmet, so... Because I wasn't paying attention, just using this team for the first time and uh, introducing it to you guys and like paying it. Okay, I got this team and ah, oh, there's Rocky Helmet, except I don't see it. Yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, what is he going to go into? Hmm. You should go into Marowak? Go back into Marowak. Yep. Um. Well, I think I'll just go back into my Mantine. Ugh. Well, at least I know he's Lightning Rod, so... That's good. Um, if he goes into Kamala... I mean, I could predict him uh, this time around. I'll just go for the safe Scald. Yeah, yeah. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Now he he did kind of start to change up his playstyle too. So oh, a psychic Sil Valley. That is interesting. Uh, you, you probably have like thunderbolts. Um, I do have Ferrathon here. So I'll go into that. Oh, he's Sword Dance. Hmm. I want rocks, but at the same time, like, I want to bring him down to a range where I could... ...knock him out. Yeah, because he, he could have Flame Charge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's go. Let's do it. Type Null versus Sil Valley. Let's do it. And what I'll do is go for the U-turn. I have max attack, so I should be able to bring him to a range where I can knock him out. 
uh, with uh, Greninja. Perfect. Yes. Look at that. Type null. Walling. Silver Valley. Excellent. Uh, I can't risk this. If you switch out, it's fine, but you got plus two, plus one speed. Don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. This is really obvious. He should switch out. So maybe I should... Yeah, maybe I should have U-turned. Um... I think I'm just gonna go... Directly... Into... Into my, uh... Decidui. He may do some thunder waving shenanigans. I think I'll, I'll go for the usual. He's he's been kind of like changing up his uh, play style a bit, making some risks. So maybe he may want to like switch out. So I'll I'll go for the I'll get the recoil, but at least I'll get the momentum, just in case he does opt to switch out. So. Um, and I get a little bit of damage, you know, a little bit of damage is damage. So, he goes for the Stealth Rocks, and if I am able to... He may just want to switch out, but he may want to, like, TV me, Toxic me, do something, so... I'm hoping I can trap this guy. The Fable, is that would be the perfect thing to uh, set up on. Except it's... I mean, it's specially orientated, so... I don't know. Ah, oh, he has toxic. Oh my goodness. But the moon blast will hurt, without a doubt. Mm, no, it actually doesn't. It actually doesn't. So I'll go for another sword dance. Then I should be able to knock him out. Uh It's everything or nothing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I got greedy. I don't know if I would have lived the toxic I'm pretty sure I would have. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, that sucks. Had to get greedy. I, I Honestly, I shouldn't have. I could have done so much damage to this Clefable. And then, like, uh, he would have had... I mean, we'll see. Thunderbolt still is going to do a lot with the electric terrain. But can I 2-hit KO Clefable? I mean, judging by how much the Spirit Shackle did, he's most certainly especially defensive because he didn't take much of... He took so much damage from, a, like, a neutral hit, so... Yeah. I don't know. I got greedy there, and I paid for it. Should have just gone for the attack when I had the chance. But he's gonna do that. He's gonna probably like stall me out. Um, do they run like unaware or then the... I guess this... Alright. Uh, Thunderbolt 53%. Thunderbolt 51, uh, maybe if I'll, I'll just have to go for it. Oh, nasty critical hit. Or maybe had I got max damage, I could have knocked him, knocked him out anyways. But that was quite beautiful. But now he's got... Ah, um, uh, He's got his water shuriken and he can uh, evolve. But if I go into man sign, I mean... I do have water. I, I'll have to do it. I'll have to do it. That's my only chance. Excellent! Excellent! I was just thinking, like, I've got the stealth rock damage, but if he goes for the water shuriken, then I can just uh, absorb it. I really wish he had gotten all the hits off. Then I would be back to full health. Um, and now I just have to roost. Oh, oh, ah, oh, crap baskets. 
Oh, this is gonna come so close. Can I take this hit? Oh my. Oh my. Mantine. Really bulky, and this is physically defensive, but it has such natural, uh, naturally great special defense that I was able to take the hit. So that is pretty amazing. I'll just, I'll just have to uh, try and take this hit. I mean, with Manton, I do kind of have good chances too. So I can defog away his hazards. And then I could be able to bring out Tapu Koko for maybe for one more hit. But it all depends. Does he get max damage and just knock me out? Had I been able to get that roost, I would be good. But, you know, it's the nature of the game, I guess. It's Pokemans. There's hacks. That's what kind of makes it fun. But at the same time, sometimes really infuriating. But. I'll try to not be so super competitive, and uh, nowadays I don't, I don't really care. Just playing for one, fun, seeing all the new stuff, trying out cool new Pokemon, new moves, all that good stuff. There's lots of good over the negative. But now he's taking a lot of time, and I'm really hoping he doesn't leave. And he's gone. Really unfortunate, because that would have been close. Like, first, can I take a hit from the Greninja? And am I able to roost? Had I got off that roost, you know, then I would have had a actually a decent chance to win that match. So, but we got, oh, there's Toxapex. Come to Papa. Hmm. Leads, leads, leads. Um, I'll go with Greninja. Okay, Zapdos. I've never seen this thing in Gen 7 so far. Could be Scarfed. Um, I'm going to go into Ferrathorn. On the first turn, he's going to go for the Electric-type move anyways. He wouldn't go for the... Heat wave. So I was comfortable going into Ferraton. And yeah, pretty sure he's choice. Most likely Scarfed, and especially because he led with it. So in comes Bisharp. Um How do I deal with you? Uh <laughs> how do I? Uh Salt Stands. Bad times. Um Honestly, uh, I, I I don't. I mean, he, he saw his opportunity. I, I think all I have is. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can take one hit, and if I get a burn, and if he's not Lum, oh, don't. Okay. Uh, um, I think this one is pretty much over. Oh, Iron Head. Hmm. Well, in that case, I do have Water Shuriken. Why didn't he just go for the knockoff? Right? Yeah, like, you have it. You were at plus four. Um. I'll just have to hope for uh, multiple hits. Because otherwise, like, I can't really... I mean, I could have gone into Ferrothorn, but I'd rather just keep my Ferrothorn if possible. Yes! Yes! Four times! Four times! Battle Bond, activate! Let's go! Oh my goodness, that was so exciting! Nice! I was so lucky. Um, are you a scarf? Yeah. Would he take a risk here and go for like heat wave? Um. In that case, well, 
he goes for Thunder Wave. Okay, I'll go for the U-turn. Oh, he's not choice. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, hmm. Battle Bond boosted uh, Ice Beam. 400. 400 special attack. Yeah, I was just thinking he was choice, but... Um, I'll go for the Ice Beam. Maybe he's specially defensive. But... Maybe he's not. Maybe I can lure out uh, Toxapex. That would be the natural thing to do. Maybe I should... You turn on him. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. I'll just go for the Ice Beam. Oh, and I do knock him out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And... He goes like a Sam. Well, after he Megas... Then he... Is he faster? 399. Uh, he, he is probably faster. I mean, that's why he's, he goes into this guy. Uh, his best option to knock me out is uh, Focus Blast, though. Hmm. If I go into the situ, I... I mean... Greninja is still kind of cool for the Togekiss, for the Guard Chomp. Oh wait, he has Energy Ball too. Well, in, it's Focus Blast or Energy Ball. Or Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that works too. But it looks like I can take that hit. So I'm pretty sure I can take a Psychic. I'll go for the Spirit or Shadow Ball. That sucks. Ugh! Oh, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's special defense drop. But then again, he goes directly into guard jump, so, um... I think what I'll do is go into Ferrothorn. Maybe I can get some Iron Barbs damage. Of course, he goes for the safe Earthquake. It's a be better play anyways. Um, Stealth Rocks would be kind of nice. Hmm. I think I'll. I'll uh, I mean, I, I I can't pull this off in this game anyway. So I want to get this this uh, the situ I work, especially on a Pokemon such as Toxapex. But I think even though I want to do that, I think my optimal play is to uh, sack it. And are you Scarf? I think it actually might be. This is Specs. Uh... Hmm. Go for the Ice Beam. He's probably Scarf. But... I don't know if Ash's Greninja... I mean, he might... I don't know. It's kind of frail. I'll try to take a hit. And I guess we'll find out whether he's choice or not. He's choice. And he knocks me out, so that was a... Uh, that was a waste. Now, wasn't it? And now that's... Just gonna have to... Uh, <laughs> lead seed him. I mean, honestly, my best option. <laughs> and it misses. Um, uh, I mean, th there's nothing I can do. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Maybe we can get one more game where the... I just really want that Desitu to work. But that was a, that was still a fun match, but uh uh Tapu Koko lead because oh well this is great. <laughs> Got the HP ground for Heatran too. Or he just goes into Marowak anyways. <laughs> oh classic, classic. Oh, 
This guy was the biggest bait at the beginning of the generation, absorbing all the electric type moves. Now you are the one being baited by the hidden power ground. Wahaha! <laughs> um, I should probably like uh, predict him to uh, go to Latias or or Mantine. I think either one would be, uh... Oh, he goes into Tabubulu. That's kind of bad. But... What does it have to... What kind of fairy-type move do you have? What do you have to hit me with? He goes into Heatran. Um... This thing doesn't have any speed. But Heatran is still faster. This is base 70. This is base 77, I do believe. So staying in is not a good option. Mm. I think I'll go into Mantine because I can defog his Stealth Rocks if he opts to go for it. As I do get burned. That's the thing. It, it could have Water Veil. Which would be kind of cool, but then again, you usually end up taking scalds, not lava plumes. Uh, so there's that. Um, does he want a Mantine versus Mantine war? He could. But I'll go for the scald, try to get some damage on the Heatran. As he goes into Latios. Quite interesting, in fact. Mm. Could this be like DD? I'll roost once. Oh, it's Calm Mind. Oh my goodness. Um. What would he go for? Psychic? Dragon Pulse? I'll take a risk. Go in the Greninja. Go in the Greninja. While it's still early, let's take a risk. I do have uh, Tabu Coco in the back. And uh, with plus two, he can probably take a Dark Pulse, but I can always try and flinch him, so... There's that. Ah, he goes for the Roost! Oh, I think that was a, that was kind of a mistake on his part, to be honest. Because uh, I'm able to do... Well... Well, 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 well. And I get the flinch this time. Ah, oh, perfect. And now let's see. Hmm. Well, I should get my Mega Evolution anyways. So what I'll do is go for the U-turn. As he does switch out. Goes into Tabu Bulu. So I get the momentum. So that works out great. Um... I could go into this situi, but again the Heatran could come in. I don't want to top I don't want Tapu Koko to take a hit. <clears throat> hmm. Whatever. I I, I don't really mind about him going into Heatran, heat because uh, I do have the Mantine. So... Hmm. Yeah. Oh. He goes for the Horn Lidge. Well, that is interesting. Fortunately for me, he is faster, but we are in the grassy terrain. And I have him locked. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> well, this is getting scary. Um, I did 29%. He doesn't know about Sucker Punch, though. That was... Oh, look at that. He's back to full health. Mmm, Spirit Shackle! Ah. 
I mean, I do have Ferrothorn to go into. To kind of... Nullify his, uh... Recovery. Right? Oh my goodness, that still did so much. But yeah, God... He has Life Orb. And with all these things. Racking up. Oh, he has Super Power. Uh, what? I should know by now. I should know by now. Maybe I should have gone back into, like, the situation and tried to suck a punch and be all cool, but, uh... That didn't work out, now did it? Um... I would think he would want to go into, like, a Legazam. I think Tapu Koko is actually pretty cool. Uh... Maybe I should go for the Dazzling... Ah. Hmm... I do have that hidden power, would he... He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Alright, get a good chunk of damage on this guy. Excellent. And I can go into Mantine as he Stealth Rocks. I can uh, defog them away. Now he could... Oh, he's got Taunt, what do you know? What do you know? Well, I'm definitely going for a Scald now. Uh, he can't go into Latios anymore, because I can knock him out. If he goes into his own Mantine, I can just uh, wall him and just wait and then defog away the hazards. So, I don't really mind. And he's got Alakazam. I mean, this thing is just scary, so... Oh, he's got Calm Mind. That too. And he's got the... Uh, the... whatchamacallit. Magic Guard, probably, so he's not gonna get burned. Oh, wait, I got a Haze! And the Taunt just wore off. So that's great. Oh, Psychic did so much. Uh, Psychic did 57%. I'll just do this. Maybe he's gonna switch out his moves and be all cool, but, uh... What a shuriken? Oh, wait. It's a special move! Why did I think... Yeah, it was changed. It was in... It was, uh... Yeah, it's... Not my idea, but... Yeah, it's... It's, it's pretty cool. Mantine got, a uh, Got some nice... Buffs... Anyways. Yeah. He's got Ice Cream to deal with Landorus. Uh, I think I'll just still have to, uh... Oh! I, <laughs> I didn't see that! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Uh, he's got plus one... Uh, maybe Tabu... I mean, what, Tabu? Maybe Tapu Gogo, but maybe Type Null? He could miss. <laughs> he could miss. <laughs> but he still lives. But he has the Water Absorb, so... Uh... Uh... <sighs> Try it. Or... Uh, Mantine? Which one is he talking about? Uh... Uh, not, not, not bulky enough. Uh... Yeah, it ends up like... What are we going to... Uh, yeah. Well, I... That's, that's, that's GG now. Thanks, this was... Fun. I still wanna... I wanna, I wanna... I wanna trap something. I wanna trap something so bad. Okay, what I ended up doing is going for another half an hour, so what I decided to do is split this episode into two parts, because I really wanted to get this Decidui to work. And let me tell you, at the end of the next episode, it's gonna work. 
it is going to work but it took me some time but i finally ended up getting it to work but it just ended up taking me like another half an hour i just i didn't end up getting good team matchups that would uh, work out in the situation in favor but in the end i did it and uh let me tell you uh it's gonna be a glorious end at the end of the next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh stay tuned for the next ep episode because it's really really exciting so uh anyways uh rambling signing out Peace.